Hello, and welcome to another GeoDev video. My name is Eric, and today we're going to show you how to get started with the ArcGIS Runtime SDK for Android. It's quite easy, actually. And what we're going to show you is, first, how to subscribe to the ArcGIS Developer Program for free. Next, we're going to show you how to get Android Studio and configure it in your development environment. Then we'll show you how to create a new project within Android Studio. We'll show you how to configure the Gradle build scripts to download all of the libraries and resources you'll need to develop ArcGIS applications. We're going to build that project and we'll start coding. You can sign up for a free subscription to the ArcGIS for Developers program by clicking the Sign Up for Free button on developers.arcgis.com. Here you can enter your first, last name, and your email, and that's it. That gives you access to all the resources, dashboards, and all of the things you need to start developing with the ArcGIS Runtime SDKs. You can download Android Studio for free by going to developer.android.com, click the Download button, and unpack it and unzip it onto your device. Here I've done that. I'm going to start a new Android Studio project. I'm going to call it My New App. I'm going to set it the target for phone and tablet. I'm going to se select an empty activity. And I'll just keep the defaults here. My main activity and activity main will be my files. And I'll click Finish. And your project is created. It'll build. And now we'll be ready to configure this generic project uh, to be an ArcGIS Runtime SDK project. So I'm going to first modify the project build, Gradle build script, and I'm going to add the Maven repo that's hosting the ArcGIS Runtime SDK for Android APIs. So I'll put that URL there. And next, we're going to open up the uh, Gradle build script for the application itself, and we're going to put the implementation for ArcGIS Runtime SDK for Android 100.4. So we're going to put an implementation uh, entry in here and specify the libs and also include all the jars from that Maven repo. Great. Now we need to tell our application that we want to access the internet so we can get base maps from ArcGIS Online and we want to use uh, OpenGL 2.0. So we need to allow permissions for that. And then now we're ready to synchronize our project. And that's going to then bring all of the libraries down uh, to my machine and I can begin to develop in my project. Great. Now that I have the libraries referenced, I'm going to go to my main activity here, the activity main XML. And it comes with a text view by default, because remember we created an empty project. But I'm going to delete all that. And I'm going to replace that now that we have the libraries in here with a map view. Uh, object. And that has uh, an ID that I can reference it within my Java code. So now I'll go to my Java code for my application. And I'll add a map view instance by getting it from our activity main by the ID map view. And then I'll create an ArcGIS map object. Here we're going to use the base map create topographic vector base map. And uh, I will take the map itself and add it to the map view. And we're almost done. But now we want to finish off by adding the on resume, on create, and on destroy uh, lifecycle methods so that we can handle the closing of the map view properly. So now that's it. We compile our application and we can uh, run it. Uh, here I'm going to use an emulator here. So I'll start up my uh, virtual device. But you can deploy this directly straight away and sideload it to an, uh, a real device as well. But here is the application. There's the vector tile base map uh, of the world. And there's our application. Very simple. A short period of time, you're ready to start writing more code on top of this, adding layers, and going forth. All of the steps that we went through today in this video are covered in the developers.arcgis.com slash Android site. You can click on the guide and navigate to develop my first app with Java. And as I went through all those steps, you can just revisit those again in this guide and get started quickly and easily.